Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good time zone. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing okay. We uh, had a bit of an end busting session uh, the other day. Um, I went to the end with Galaxy Pal and we got a bit of stuff. Uh, I have a spare pair of Elytra, plenty of end rods, a stack and a half of shulker shells, which is a ridiculous amount. I've never had this much in Minecraft, like in terms of shulker boxes and stuff in my life. We also have found a very good shovel, an Efficiency 5 Mending Silk Touch Unbreaking 3 shovel, uh, which compared to our Silk Touch Efficiency 3 Mending shovel is uh, a little bit better. So we're just going to swap that out for now. Um, I'm going to get all of this stuff sorted out, and what I'm also going to do is go down into the mines and see if we can't find some dirt, because we're going to be doing some gardening and decorating the outside of the house today, and we're kind of out of dirt, so I want to see if I can get a bunch of it, and uh, that will have us prepared for decorating our house. I want to have things like... Um, windows in the top floor with like uh, flower pots underneath them and stuff like that um, and I think I want to terraform a little bit of this just so that we have a continuous path all the way outside of our base at this level and then um, we can get on with some of the finer details so I will bring you back in in a couple of minutes when I've gone to fetch that dirt and put all of the stuff uh, that's in the shulker box away and I will see you in a couple of seconds. I'll be right back. You know, I realized while I was digging this dirt out, we have an easier solution to the uh, filling the inventory up problem. Let's just make a shulker box, I think. Do we need a chest, I think? Um, okay, we've got a crafting bench through here. I think this is how you do it. I haven't really had shulkers before. It's not something I really know how it works. Yes, got it. Okay. So, we can now have this be our dirt shulker box, and we can fill that up instead of our inventory. Perfect. I will uh, bring you back in once I've finished gathering all this dirt. I'll try and aim for, like, a full shulker full. So I will see you in a sec. Oh, Jesus, there's a creeper. Hang on. Oh. Well, that guy's gone. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we are back from a rather successful uh, dirt gathering trip. Let's just see how much we've got here. We've got a fair bit, uh, so let's get a couple of stacks out and start working on what we want the outline of this to be. I think I want it to come across sort of a bit more like this. Uh, we want the this door to be kind of central there, almost. So that works for that. And we'll come out a few here. And then we should have... We missed one bit there should have a fairly solid place to walk around the whole island. I'm not sure how the under underside of this will look um, at the minute, but this will give us a good sort of basis to start our bridge from to get across to there, which is where I want to have my nether portal eventually. Uh, I was talking a bit on stream, and I want to build this island up, and we might be doing that in today's episode. Um, so I'm just going to finish placing some of this dirt, if I can reach it, um, and then once we've sort of connected up around this side, uh, we can think about starting to, um, why don't we come out here as well, we can think about starting to build that island up a little, uh, let's get some more dirt out, I will be right back when we start to do that, I'll see you in a minute. 
Okay, now that that's all done, uh, we can run around our entire base. And the next thing I want to get done is over here, and involves getting rid of these guys. So let's just take them out for now. I can't see where the banner one is. So for now we're just going to pop shots at them from up here. Can we get that one? Oh, nailed him. I don't think we'll be able to hit again, but... Oh well, that, it's got them off this island anyway. What we're going to do is uh, take out some of our dirt here and start plotting out where we want the top of this island to be. Um, so this is the centre. So let's just, uh, for now, we'll path out uh, using some dirt. Uh, look away if you're afraid of heights, by the way. And then I think we want the centre to be right there. And we're going to have to a uh, 15... Uh, diameter, which means we'll have uh, seven away from this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to have that block out there, and then that will be the bridge, which I think is about the length I was imagining it. So I think that works for me. So let's just build out seven from each of these, uh, if I can count. Yep, I can. And that will give us the diameter that we're looking for. And then we will see roughly whereabouts we're aiming things. We might decide to um, bring it back a bit more, because this is still fairly close to the house. I think we will actually. So if we bring the center of this about three blocks back, let's just... Uh, We'll go four blocks back. Maybe... We'll try four for now. So the center, instead of being there, is going to be one, two, three, here, instead. So let's do that. Let's just take out four blocks from this side. Um, I've got quite a bit of dirt now, so I can get rid of these for now. I'll tidy this up properly later. I just want to sort of lay out what this might look like. Okay, I think this is going to be better now that we've moved it back. Yep. Um, so first things first, I'm going to reconnect this bridge. Because I want to get gra grass starting to spread over here immediately. And in the meantime, I'm going to be right back and build this out into the edge of the circle so that we can see what this might properly look like when it's done. Uh, so I will see you in a sec. Okay, so as you can see, we have built out the outline of the circle. What I want to do next is just fill this in. Um, what we can do is, uh, from down there, we can sort of climb up and find a way to this island and sort of build up which I think is going to be slightly easier. Um, so, let's start filling this in. I'm going to run out of dirt in a second, but I've got plenty more in my shulker box now. Which feels weird to say I don't usually have shulker boxes in Minecraft. But this time I do. Okay, let's grab a couple of stacks out of here. And then finish filling this in. So I wanted to get this templated out, and we're going to leave that bit connecting to it for now, so that we can get grass to spread over here, and then we're going to build a small uh, sort of shrine to a nether portal at some point. I think what I want to use is quartz, because that's an item you can find in the nether. Oh, didn't mean to put that block there. Uh, and I really like how quartz blocks look. Um, so just for a sort of bit of a um, visual example. This is what our nether portal is going to look like.
that's where the nether portal is going to be. It's probably going to be raised up maybe a block, and we're going to have some decoration around the outside of it. Um, but for now, that's a <laughs> just so we can get an idea of what it will look like when we exit this door. And I think that will look pretty cool with our nether portal there on this floating island. We are going to connect it up to that, and I want to preserve as much of that as I can to make it look a bit more natural and less uh, bowl-shaped, I think. Um, so I'm excited to see how this is eventually going to turn out. Um, for now, we have a couple more things I want to do with this episode, which involves uh, coming back to our house. So if we come back here, and then climb up to this room here, I want to get some windows up here. And I think one of the ones I want is going to be here, like that. And what I also want to do is, outside of here, is have a little sort of balcony, not balcony, um, like a, a window pot. So what we're going to need for some of that is some trapdoors to keep the dirt in. Uh, what do we want to make the trapdoors out of? That's a very good question. I think ideally spruce, which uh, you can see we have plenty of. Um, so I'm going to need to get some more wood for that. But for now, let's make all the windows. Do we have any window panes in here? We do. Uh, we are going to need to make some more, though. So we'll grab some glass from there. Let's come up here and do some crafting. Let's just make another 16 for now. That should be enough for a little bit to get an idea of what we want where. Um, and this will just bring so much more light into this room. Um, during the daytime. I think, do we want one here as well? We might just have like the, um, like a one wide window there. Uh, that's above a roof. And then, which wall is this? This is the one that leads out to the ocean. So I think we want a fairly um, large set of windows on here. But I think what we want to do is have two lots of 2 by 3 windows like this. Uh, so we'll actually put that white terracotta back. And then um, fill that one in with glass panes there. And that has immediately brought so much more light into this room. Um, the room is actually completely lit up to, uh, even if we take away these torches and go and stand in this corner, uh, you can see client light is nine block light here. Um, and that's because we've got the sea lanterns up there. So the sea lanterns are light level 15, the glass underneath is light level 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, which means this is completely spawn proof, even if we take away all the torches. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and then I think I want like a maybe a four wide window in this one as well. So we are going to actually need to craft some more glass panes, but that just gives it so much more light in here. Um, so let's quickly go and do that. We don't need to come all the way down here. And we'll get those last ones placed. We can get rid of the F3 menu as well. And then once I have put sort of flower planters outside uh, a few of these windows, I don't know if we'll do it for every window. Um, what we'll also do is move this banner slightly, which means we might need to re-click our map on it, but that's fine. We'll pop it over here, just so that it's not in the way of the window. And then that just adds a bit more character and so much more light to the room. And we can have a look out. We can see the front garden there. Uh, we can look over this way, see the path that leads down through the shattered savannah. We can have a quick peek out over to our current nether portal. And of course, we can look out onto our future nether portal. So that's looking pretty good. I'm going to get these finished, uh, farm a bit of wood and build them up. And I think we might actually want to use 
grass blocks, so I might go and pinch some from somewhere else and swap them out for dirt. Um, and then we'll have flowers outside our window. So I will see you in a couple of seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, we have uh, some trapdoors made and we have built the majority of our um, window boxes. So let's just get the last few trapdoors placed uh, on the bottom of these here. Got one more that needs to go on there. Uh, this side's fine. Let's just pop one on our window box there. And I think when you see it, you'll agree with me that it adds quite a bit to our view. I decided not to do a window box on this side, um, just so that it, we didn't have one on every single window, you know? Adds a little bit of variation. So let's quickly put these trapdoors away, uh, which go in there. And then we can come up here. And I think this looks pretty good. So we've got the, the large window where you can view out on the path. Uh, we've kept that one clear. But the other ones, we have put some plants in. I was going to use grass, but I think I actually like how it looks with dirt. It looks like soil rather than having actually brought turf up into the window planters. It just, the windows add so much brightness and the flowers add a bit of color as well. And I really like it. Um, that's going to be it for this episode. I think the next one is, if I come to the right window, going to be working on this island and our nether portal, which we're not actually going to go through until the nether update, but that's where we're going to go through our portal uh, as soon as 116 hits, because the nether's being changed quite a bit. Uh, we want to reset the nether. So that's going to be uh, ready for when that happens in that case. But uh, for now, that's going to be it. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.